In the, in the previous lesson, we had seen how to generate and edit a building ele elevation. And in this video, we are going to discuss how to generate and edit a building section in ARCHICAD. So the difference is uh, an elevation, you are, view you are viewing the building from uh, the outside, or maybe from, that would be, so if you are viewing the building from the outside, we're going to call that an external uh, elevation. And if you're viewing the building from some common point uh, inside the building, love what we call the interior elevations in place. But in this case, we are talking of, we are talking about uh, a building, a building section. So a section, as with any other section, uh, whether for a building or a, uh, just any item section means that you are cutting through something so in the case with a building we are going to cut through some parts of this building through the walls through the the the, the rooms and everything so that we can see some details that we are not able to see if this section is not uh, generated and in this case we'll do that by having so in our case the last by uh, under, by selecting, we'll do that by creating a section viewpoint. In this case, we'll go to viewpoint and the very first section tool, click on that to select it. We'll have um, that selected. And then let's, let's choose a, a desirable place where we can place this section viewpoint. I want to cut through this entry, the kitchen, the bath, and bedroom too. So I'll select this, let's say this point and draw like that. Let me, let's zoom to the outside. Let's say one piece to be up to that point. Then we'll have the arrow pointing to the right. Click to place it, select. And then I want us to extend, extend this to this point here. So just click on that dot, then select stretch. So we'll stretch it to the outside like this. So we have our elevation uh, a point in place. So if you come to this side, to the project map here, or under sections, you'll start seeing this S01 building section. So you can choose to either open it from this side by double clicking, and then you'll have elevation open as that. Or we can choose to go back to the to the floor plan view, select the elevation line, double right click, and uh, we have this third option here. This third option open with current view settings. If you click on that, it's also going to open the elevation for you. So just close. Let's navigate to to the project map under sections and identify S01 building section. Double click to open it. Then we'll have our elevation open. The same settings that we were doing, or we were uh, putting in place for our section, for our elevation, will be almost the same as what you, we are going to do with the, this uh, building section. And the first thing would be to activate so control L, you have the layers in place, activate the terrain layer as that. Click OK. So you have the terrain layer uh, showing. And then I'll right click. It should be outside the, the, the drawing itself. So I'll right click. Go to section settings. Under grid tool. And tick. So that if you save that, you're not going to have the grids and uh, these other you know, the, the dimensions. So as you see, it's cleaner that way. So let's get back again. We have story level simple and text. We're not going to change anything. Let's go to story level and um, text style. Change to DM Sans, that is going to be the font type. The rest are okay. Under story levels, Let's have this story level line here. 
as display and output because I want this to show when we put this drawing in the layout and change this line to triple dashed down and um, mark a size you want to have the uniform pen and have these as pen number one close that and a marker simple and settings this i'm okay with those um, settings in place marker text style change this uh, font have the text pen as 46 and the size the font size as three millimeter as done under this marker I don't want to change any of this. I'm okay with how this shows on the plan and on the section view. But in case this is the line that is shown, the section line type, this is the pen for that section line type. And this one shows on plan. And then we have how these markers are shows. We have these heads on both sides as we had on our plan. And this is the pen type which specifies the color that is seen on the plan so if you change this it's going to change how that is viewed on the plan so again depending on how you want your floor plan to look like you can go ahead and change these ones so click ok we'll get back again so that's how that looks and uh, maybe a few things again and uh, the section the settings this time or in this case we focus on model appearance and i want to have uh, for the uncut elements i want to have a uniform pen and change that pen uh, set that pen as pen number one that way put transparency off and then under sun here yeah, i want to have shadows on so that set click ok and watch the changes that happen so in this case now you see we are getting to a more realistic elevation. Sorry, we are getting to a more realistic section. And I want to change some bits here below. So this part, I want to have a fill. Uh, so I'll go to document, documenting tools and select the fill. It's already a, a drafting fill under drafting field category so this is ch checked as drafting field i'm going to draw from here to here select that and change it to earth appearance because that is the ground then we have some items that need uh, some adjustments like if you look at this wardrobe it's floating so we can drag it down that point and we'll do the same to even this wc what assistant here for the washrooms drag it down so make sure this is as as shown then you have the bed that you drag it to touch the floor so that way maybe if you want to do some customizations to this window so you can enhance its appearance you just select it go to the settings dialog for that window I think this is what we are having, window 25, but we can make some changes to this and um, sorry, it should be search options. Let's have these as grid. But before we move, we need to, have, uh, yes, I think it's under preview. We have nominal sizes and tolerance. We have shape. We have window settings and yeah, window settings and opening. Click on that. Have that as fixed search. That would work well. And then okay. We're going to have that update. And that shape looks better than what we had initially. And for this, because this the washroom part, we can have uh, some eye level window, which is top and a start. Then under preview and positioning, we can have uh, seal to story as 1500 and the real size of this as 600 by 600. That is millimeters. Click OK. And you see that update. You can still drag it up so that it matches. Um, 
the heights of these others eh? yeah so that is our section so before we get done we can add a few things here and there maybe in terms of dimensions you can add uh, let's have this construction method and you have that height given you can specify the height of maybe the windows from the ground so we'll have that i think that is okay maybe you can even give give some details for this in the top part for that window select this and we have those dimensions but in 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 this case i want to reduce uh, well, that is the font size so it it appears neater yeah like that and then we can uh, add some texts so we add this as our kitchen so we, uh, let's just annotate the rooms eh? so this is our kitchen uh, move it up there maybe we can change this. and then drag multiple copies so drag mat multiple copies Love a copy of that here and another copy here and then escape this is a washroom so i love this as uh, wc and same we have the shower there let's try to have that and then this is our bedroom so type bedroom like that so in terms of the section because we wanted to view how this now looks like we have uh, some realistic views i'm okay with the section looking like that but if you want to go ahead and add uh, more labels to this you can add maybe you want to tag this you want to tag this window what i've done is uh, under documenting tools here you have this uh, label so you have that label so if i want to before i tag them eh, i just go to the default set settings for that and change a few things here like we have the text so the type and preview i would like to have that uh, yes auto text but this should be the font that we have been consistently using and then we have like two millimeter font um, size I uh, want the pointer to be, yeah, you can have that. Then the text and everything, click on OK. So that now I can tag this window have like this, and this window, and we'll have the roof itself. Yes, just a few things. Eh? To show you how you can add some notes so i'll say this is um steel casement window i'm going to place this there let's say change something and the point um so this angle should be like that we select these three go back to the default settings choose that click ok then let's uh, have these as so we are giving specifications for the roof let's have um timber trust roof Again, this is just an example of how you are going to put these tags in place. So we'll have different descriptions that will suit your project. Then let's extend this. Let's extend it upwards so that we can call this uh, WC. Then we have these as a steel casement. So we have a steel casement window. Go 
move it up to that point. But in terms of the system, I think this should be a straight one so that it looks nice. But if we don't get some place to show it on the top, we can move it to this, to the side here. So that line shows we have the system and the tag is there. Yeah, so just like that. So depending on the details that you want to show on the section, you're going to go ahead and uh, use maybe the text tool, auto text, annotation, label, or, or whatever you are going to be able to use to put some tags to the to the to the to the various elements on 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 your section and then you'll see how that looks be just adding more it is just a way of adding more uh, information so that whoever is going to you be interpreting our drawings will have some uh, uh, references let's say in the, in this case if i wanted to select this roof go to design and then uh, we have design extras or rather we have roof extras and we have the truss maker and then i'll go to roof wizard i have the rafters cell settings cell settings for like the rafters we have beams we have palings we have trimmers we have the edges those so you can go through these ones specify the cross sections of, of, of sizes of the rafters how you want them to be aligned the distances between normal rafters the minimal distance between rafters if you want to add gaps extra rafters where we are having big gaps if you want to join them on land and such such things you can also look at this where we have the beams and we also have palings change a few settings here if necessary and then click ok let's see that update in 2d in 2d we are going to have that in 3d you're not able to see that because it is uh, hidden in the building but in terms of the section here we should be able now to see uh, the, the the rafters that have been introduced now appearing in our in our section as that so if you're done with the, those customizations just click on uh, control s on your keyboard or use file save to save your project and let's meet in the next lesson